Yo, good morning, people. How you guys doing this beautiful, beautiful... I believe this is morning time. But for all the new guys here, man, welcome to the channel. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Hot Shot Benny, and I started a trucking company with my dad. No, we don't drive no semi-trucks. We drive pickup trucks. I do have, and I repeat, I do have my Class A CDLs to drive my Hot Shot rig. I'm going to say it again. I have a Class A CDL. I am not non-CDL. My setup requires you to have a Class A CDL. Let's say that again. My setup requires you to have a Class A CDL. Think that you know me, uh, you don't really know me. I feel out of love, but it ain't on me. I heard that you capping, you gon' keep on talking, but I'm getting all this trash. A dead to the ash. I ride with it steep and I creepy with my heat. I know you showing love, you don't really like me. Yeah, I know you showing love, you don't really like me. Yeah. Gucci bandana, I'm a Gucci Taliban. I know you see them bands. Fell in love with a stripper, I just wanna see her dance. So what is hot shot trucking you might ask? Not a semi, it's a pickup truck. Carry stuff on a 40 foot flatbed or you can go smaller than that, depends on what you're going. I have a 22 GM flatbed. So my truck is governed for 14,000 pounds and my trailer is governed for 22,000 pounds. Do we ever carry that much weight? Nah, we don't. I never really even go over 10,000 pounds sometimes. The most I've ever been was 13,000 pounds. Usually we have a lot of loads and we like to consider ourselves the partial kings. We like to run with partials. So partials can be anything, just small items put together that make, you know, one, one big old load basically you know what i mean so you can have different items coming from different companies and different shippers going to different receivers but hopefully going to the same location so you can make a decent amount of money for that week that's what we do call ourselves the partial kings and that's 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 what we do So we've seen the comments. Everybody want to know how to start a hot shot business. I know you're thinking that the immediate thing to do is go buy a truck and a trailer. There's more to it. If you don't have any experience, I would recommend you lease onto someone else. What's the benefit of leasing onto someone else? Well, first, you have the advantage of their experience. You have the advantage of their relationships. Those relationships, you could jump right into it, lease onto someone else, and be able to make just as much money as everybody else. There's several ways you can get into the trucking business or hot shop business. One, you could become a truck driver, drive for a while. Two, you could be an owner operator and lease onto a company. Three, you could run your own company, have your own authority, your choice. As a company driver, you get the benefit of just driving, learning the business from the inside out. As a lease on operator, you come with your own truck, your own trailer, you take home anywhere from 70 to 80% of the money off the top. As your own authority, you take all the risk. You gotta handle all the administration part of it, but you take home all the money. Well, I used to be a car broker. I was buying and selling cars. I used to buy cars from Texas, so guess what? A hotshot guy would bring my car to me. When he brought my car to me, I had to pay him cash money. COD. I hated that idea. So I decided, get my own truck, get my own trailer. At the very least I can do is transport my own vehicles. I did my research for about six months to about eight months. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about you. I gave you three options. You decide which one you want to do. But the reality, most people want to be their own boss. Look, there's a lot to it, man. You really need to get a quote from your insurance company before you even buy anything. So just get a VIN number of a new truck if that's what you're buying. Any truck on a lot. Get them the VIN number and get a quote. Give them your uh, MVR and get a quote. Simple as that. That way you know how much you pay. So here's how you do it. Create a business. Get an EIN number. Go get your authority. Where do you get all that stuff? Well, in my case, Secretary of State. Georgia Secretary of State. In your case, whatever city you're from, Secretary of State. First thing, you gotta create your business. Where do you do that? You can jump online. Go to your Secretary of State website. Whatever state you're in, 
look for your Secretary of State website and create your LLC. Second thing, you need your authority, your MC number, your DOT number. Where do you get that done? FMCSA, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Association, but it's FMCSA. All right, all right. After that, you need your truck and the trailer. After that, you need insurance. Who's gonna insure you? Nine times out of 10 is gonna probably be progressive. Find your insurance broker. Let them shop around for you and get you the best deal. But there's a lot more to it. You need your medical card. In other words, you need to go to a doctor, get your physical done, so you can have a medical card to travel on the highways. You also need to sign up for a drug consortium. In a nutshell, it takes money. So if you got some money, follow those steps, and you could be a hot shot in no time. Look, it sounds like a lot, but honestly, if you hire a professional to do all that for you, you might have to pay them $1,000, but they can get it done for you. So what's the cost? Man, you could go new, or you can go old. When I started, I started with an old truck. I paid $6,000 for my old truck. I paid $6,000 for my old trailer. But guess what? That old truck and old trailer made $240,000 the first year. Yeah, I broke down a few times, but that old truck and trailer made $240,000 the first year. Or you can go new. You could buy a brand new truck for about $65,000. You could buy a brand new trailer, Big Tex, for a moderate price of $14,000. Yes, you can lease all that stuff. You don't have to pay cash. Brand new trailer. The best trailer for the money. Big Tex, 22 GN for Class A CDL holder. Or you can go 14 GN for a non-CDL. Big Tex, $14,000, brand new. And for a non-CDL, it's probably about $8,000 for a 14 GN. Also, for some of your basic equipment. You need straps. You need straps. You got ratchet straps. Or you got the straps that come with a brand new trailer. Some loads require chains. I recommend getting at least four chains and four binders. You also need corner protectors for some of your uh, loads. You got four inch, you got four inch extended, maybe six to eight inch. It doesn't matter, as long as you got corner protectors. If you bought a brand new truck, especially for towing, it normally comes with your essentials. You need a fire extinguisher. You need a triangle. You also need to have some fuses. A brand new truck comes with all that stuff. You don't have to worry about it. You got a four inch sliding strap. You also gonna need a ratchet to tighten up your load. A lot of folks don't have this in their truck, but believe me, when you get a flat on the road, you wish you had this in your truck. This is a 20,000 pound jack. You need it. One of the most important thing on the truck for the partial kit, a measuring tape. Cause we gotta put them loads together, boy. Woo! Some loads require topping. You can get a pretty good top for about $330, $350. Sometimes the shipper wants you to have your own dunnage. But what is dunnage? Ain't nothing but a two by four. You know, when you're an experienced hot shotter, you don't want to be stopping by the gas station every hour, every two, three hours. That's where this baby come in. For about $1,200, $1,300, you can have a 100 gallon fuel tank, auxiliary fuel tank, not to mention, he comes with a storage area for all your straps and binders. But that's not the end of it. She's gravity fed. You know what I mean by gravity fed? You could drive a thousand miles, don't have to worry about running out of fuel. Got two options when it comes to your gooseneck setup. You got your fifth wheel setup, which is what we rock with. Or you got your ball setup, your ball setup, your ball setup. Hold it in the camera. Or you got your gooseneck ball setup. Some people call it a puck. Which one is better? It doesn't matter. They all do the same thing. You make the same money, no matter what setup you have. So let's talk about tires on your truck and trailer. When you buy a trailer, it's gonna probably come with 10 ply tires. Ask them for 14 ply. It's gonna cost a little extra, but you need that. So you're gonna ask, what's 14 ply? Look man, you got cheap tires and you got better tires. 14 ply is a much better tire. It's a commercial tire. Benny did a whole video on that. Click the top. Not to mention, you can go even higher. You can go 16 ply, if you can find them. I used to have a great job working for a good company till I got sick and tired of working for the company. I made about $80,000 a year. Does it look like I'm sorry? I'm actually very happy because hot shop business has changed my life. In a nutshell, it all costs money. You got your truck, you got your trailer. 
You got to figure out if you're going to run your own business or lease on to someone else. You got your tools that you need. You got your equipment that you need. All cost money. But you can make that money back. Hot Shop Business is a great business to get into. It's a great starting trucking company. I used to do the 9 to 5. That was great. I did that for a lot of years. But I got tired of doing the 9 to 5. So I decided to create my own business. I'm an entrepreneur. That's what I do. I like working for myself. So therefore, that's why I'm doing this. If you want to work for yourself and you want to be a trucker, you have a passion to be a trucker, come join us in the hot shot business. Y'all think that you know me. Uh, you don't really know me. I feel out of love, but it ain't on me. I heard that you capping. You gonna keep on talking. But I'm getting all this trash. Addicted it to the ash. I ride with it, Steve, and I creepy with my heat. I know you showing love, you don't really like me. Y'all know you showing love, you don't really like me. Gucci bandana